Welcome back to a Flippin' Mess reselling channel. Today we're going to do another thrift haul video, this time from Salvation Army. Um, this was their 25% off customer appreciation day sale. And I have a mix today. I have quite a bit of hard goods, I have shoes, and I have clothing. So let's get started. So the first piece I have are these cute Kuma golf joggers. Um, these are a women's pair. Oh, the cat has decided to join in. There's Minnie, everybody. Um, and these are a size large and they were $6.99 and then 25% off of that. And these should go for around $26 to $28. Okay, next I have this um, Reese, R-E-I-S-S, -S, dress. Pretty for an evening out or a cocktail party. Um, this one, here's the tag. It's a US size six. Fresh from the dry cleaner. I paid $7.50 for that one. How about that? Um, that's a good brand. So that one should go for like $50 to $100. Okay, this is a brand that's hit or miss for me. Sometimes it does well, sometimes it doesn't. This is Joie. Um, all over sequence top with this cute little button back. It is a size medium and this was $6.99 and 25% off. This I picked up because of style mainly. Um, when I first saw it, I thought it was going to be a free people top because they have a similar one. Um, this is Joie, which is actually a better name. Um, so we'll see what I get for that. My guess is probably around uh, $26, but hopefully it'll be better than that. The next piece is a cute little floral uh, Bowden shirt dress with puff sleeves. Anything with a puffy sleeve right now seems to do well. I think it's still from the Bridgerton effect. Bowden, and this is a size six petite. It's only $6.99 and 25% off. This will go probably around $28 to $45. Um, there's a pretty big range there. Okay, J. Crew. I'm really picky with my J. Crew pieces, and this is a more casual piece than I would usually pick up. But I picked it up for style. It's a midi length dress, and it's a bigger size. It's an XXL, and it was $7.99 and 25% off. Still, with most J. Crew pieces, you're talking in the 20s, so somewhere in that range. Okay, Athleta Leggings, um, it's one of the newer pieces. I picked these up because it was newer and it's an XL in good shape. It has the side pockets. This was $6.99 and 25% off. And these will probably end up, I will post them everywhere, but they'll most likely end up going in one of my whatnot sales. I've been doing women's athletic wear every Wednesday night and it's doing better and better. Okay, and then we have Prana Medium. These are um, a yoga pant, but they actually look like you could wear them like scrub pants or something like that. Um, elastic waist, only $4.99 and 25% off. Prana is very expensive new. Um, in terms of resale, it depends on the style. I'm not real sure what I'm going to get for that. We'll see. Okay. These were Eileen Fisher. And I knew that because I've sold this particular style several times. Um, but somebody put insoles in. So I will have to take out the, the insole. Um, and I don't see what the price was on these. But usually when there's no price, it seems like they price at $9.99. And these were 25% off too. Okay, then we have some Stuart Whitespin. These, the uppers are in good shape. The bottoms have 
quite a bit of wear, but not too bad. These were $12.99 and 25% off. Stuart Weissman has been varying a lot for me. I'm gonna hope for around 50, but we shall see. Okay, dance go. I'm hoping I don't regret this purchase um, because these were high for dance goes. They were $11.99 and 25% off, but they look almost new and I did the bend test. You don't know with dance goes, you gotta bend them and make sure they don't just crack. Because sometimes they'll crack and crumple right then and there. So hopefully these will do well. Most dance goes in that style, I've only been able to get 26 to 30 lately. So I hope that they do better than what most of them have been doing for me. But I bought them mainly on condition. They were in better shape than I usually find. Okay, this pair is not in the best shape, but they're Derek Lim, which is a designer brand. And they were, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be $11.99, but it looks like $1.99 on both of the shoes and then 25% off. Uh, the reason I say not in the best condition, a little bit of wear right on the toes, but other than that, they're fine. Um, and these are a size eight and a half, which is a good size. And I looked those up, they don't go for a ton. I was hoping they would be better than they are, but 35 to 45 probably on those is what I'll end up with. Okay, this pair, I like the style of this brand always does well for me as long as I buy it at the right price. These have the Vibram soles and um, they were a good size. They're a women's eight and good style. $12.99 and 25% off. Looking at it, conservatively, I would say they should go for 55, but I may get closer to 65. Okay. Cole Haan, Zero Grand. Talk about this all the time. You gotta watch the style and condition with Cole Haan. These looked almost new. Maybe been worn like once or tried on in store. They were only $13.99 and 25% off. And because it's a comfort style um, and lightweight, I think these will do well. Okay. This was a new brand for me. Where's the, um, it says Paul, and then I think it says Smith. Yeah, Paul Smith, if you read both. Um, they felt like good quality leather, and it said some of the keywords I like to see, made in Italy. Um, these are a size 38 and a half, so like an eight and a half in women's, somewhere around that. Um, very good condition. It does have some creasing, but that's to be expected. Um, these should go 65 to 100, somewhere in that range. Okay. Mephisto, I'm sorry if you like this style of shoe because I think they're ugly, like ugly dad shoes kind of. Um, but this brand is a very expensive brand. These were uh, $13.99, 25% off. We'll see, I'm not sure on this style. I knew they were good enough to pick up at that price, um, but 50 to 100, but probably closer to like 50 or 60 on that style. Okay. Allen Edmonds brand I love to pick up almost always pick it up unless it's in bad shape this is uh 14.99 25% off this is the cat skill you can always find the brand right there and you can look up the comps but very good condition no wear on the sole at all um these will do well um I'm gonna give you a broad range 50 to 100 because they haven't comped the specific style all right, these I looked at based on the style. Uh, they were um, kind of unique. They weren't the standard boot. And again, we have made in Italy here on the bottom. And this is Cinti Vera Pella. 
Um, and this boot is another one that will be in the 60 to $100 range. Hopefully closer to the 100 because they are in very good condition. Okay, last pair of shoes. These are Ugg sneakers. Don't pick up the Ugg sneakers much, but again, I looked at the condition of these. There were no issues. Just a little, I need to wipe this with a magic eraser and that's it. Um, even the insole doesn't even look worn. Um, they were $13.99, 25% off. These will go more like $35 to $45. So they're not super high dollar. Um, like some of the boots are, but they're still a good comfort show shoe. Okay, I'm gonna go to some of the breakables now. These, I haven't been able to find an exact comp, but I knew enough based on just my general knowledge of pottery to pick them up. They are signed, but I'm gonna have to do some Google image searching to try to figure it out. Style-wise, they are the style of um a lot of the romanian pottery but i don't know we'll have to see um and they were kind of high 5.99 each but i should do fine on them pottery does well in general sorry for having to go off camera a little bit okay this i knew right away looking at it that it was made in italy or portugal and sure enough it was italy um, and it's just cute. It's dogs. Um, not sure exactly what it's for. It looks like it has something that you can hang it. Um, but it has dogs and it's cute. Somebody will buy it. Okay. M.A. Hadley. I love picking up M.A. Hadley stuff. Uh, usually what I find has more to do with like children's stuff. Um, this looks more like an adult piece. Like maybe a fruit bowl. Um, and it was $2.99. And then we have one more M.A. Hadley piece with a little pig. And this is more typical of what I find, blue and white pottery with kind of a little kid's theme, M.A. Hadley. And uh, I think it's just made to look like it has crazy because it's continuous all the way around was two dollars and 99 cents so overall it was a good trip to salvation army it was packed and when i say packed it was we were standing outside waiting for the door to open and the line went all the way out into the parking lot so it's a little crazy and then i was disappointed because i missed a brand new bin of shoes that came out um because they're like vultures just whoosh, everybody in and i had to just wait until um everything was picked over um so i went through all the stuff on the shelves and then went back to see um it doesn't look like it missed a lot anyway because they were more going for the sneaker type shoes than than i'm typically if i find them i will pick them up but i pick up a lot of comfort brands a lot of designer brands um and that kind of thing so it was fine um and whatnot is continuing to do well for me so if you'd like to join next week i am doing women's and men's active wear on wednesday night at 7 30. all the auctions start at two dollars and it's sudden death for 20 seconds so it goes pretty quick from item to item we have lululemon gymshark beach riot uh, nike under armor adidas a little bit of everything um, and then on thursday i have a vintage to modern uh, jewelry party um, so it's only the second jewelry party I've done, but I have tons of jewelry. So I'm hoping we can kind of get that going. So if you have any interest in that, please plan on joining. Uh, the jewelry sale will be two and five dollar starts. If it's sterling silver, not all, but a lot of it is starting at five just because my buy cost is significantly higher. But the other pieces will start at two dollars and shipping is reasonable on whatnot because everything gets combined. So if you buy multiple items, you pay less on shipping per item. So please join me there. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if there's a specific type of video that you would like to see or something that you would like to know more about. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.